agriculture or the cultivation of grapes is a large and growing industry within Australia and around the world. In recent times, a large push has been made towards more sustainable land management practices to ensure the industry can continue to advance into the future. Sustainable land management practices can be extremely difficult as they vary across industries, crop types and geographical locations. Developing certain practices can result in a higher crop yield, increased soil quality and maintenance of ecosystem biodiversity. These sustainable practices include the elimination of pesticides or herbicides, the use of natural fertilisers to produce nitrogen and organic matter, recycling of water to use for irrigation and the control of weeds and pests. Key management strategies however need to ensure they coincide with the capabilities of the land and neighbouring properties as well as aiming to protect and rehabilitate degraded areas. A way to successfully develop these strategies is through organic farming practices. A small organic vineyard about 6 kilometres south of Gloucester in New South Wales clearly demonstrates how sustainable land management practices can be implemented to benefit both the farmer and the environment. John Dugas has owned and run a 30 acre winery since 2001. His business runs on three main organic practices grape species suitable for the region, its soil, climate and environment. John picked grapes which are most suitable for the environmental conditions common for the southwestern New England region. His wine varieties have well dispersed berries enhancing ventilation flow and decreasing the chance of disease and ensuring high productivity. Elimination of pesticides and herbicides in the organic industry is essential. John has never used Basta or glyphosate commonly known as Roundup on the property as he believes the microorganisms are negatively impacted. Natural fertilizers such as mulch and manure piles collected from the farm enhance growth and pose no threat to the soil and its microorganisms. This is essential as the survival and development of these microorganisms is key to a productive and stable crop. Maintenance of soil fertility and reducing compaction and runoff are John's high priorities. He ensures this by handpicking his grapes between February and March and only once a year to eliminate compaction by machinery. Irrigation of these vines is through solar powered pumps from large tanks and natural spring water is used if water becomes unavailable. In conclusion, understanding and maintaining sustainable land management practices is how the viticultural industry will remain successful and sustainable into the future.